as we have already studied, the air that we live and breathe in is called the Earth's atmosphere. But what is this atmosphere made of? What does it contain? Let's find out. Air contains gases. The air around us contains gases. These gases are useful to man as well as plants and animals. Air is mainly made up of four gases. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and other gases. Oxygen and nitrogen constitute a major portion of the air. Oxygen is the active part of air and nitrogen is the inactive part of air. Let us conduct an experiment to prove this. Fill a basin with some water. Put a lit candle into it. Take a glass and place it over the candle on two pieces of wood in the water. The flame slowly dies and the water level in the glass rises. This happens because the candle uses up all the oxygen in the glass to burn. And when the oxygen is over, the water takes its place and the flame dies. This proves that oxygen is the active part of air. It is used as fuel for burning. It constitutes about one-fifth of the total volume of air. Let's conduct another experiment. Light a candle and place it on a rubber stopper. Take a glass container and place it over the candle. Does the flame burn? The answer is no. The flame immediately dies down because all the oxygen in the glass gets used up. This proves that the air in the glass is of no use and is inactive. It constitutes four-fifths of the air and is mainly made up of nitrogen. Air and breathing Air is needed by all living organisms to breathe. We get oxygen from the air we breathe and aquatic animals like fish get their oxygen from the water. Breathing When we breathe in, the air fills up our lungs. The blood in the lungs picks up the oxygen and sends it to all the cells in the body. This helps the cells to burn food in order to release energy. When the food is burned, carbon dioxide is produced. Since this is not needed by us, it is given out by the body when we exhale. The air that we breathe in is called inspired air or inhaled air. It is rich in oxygen. The air that we breathe out is called expired or exhaled air. It is rich in carbon dioxide given out by the body. Exhaled air is warmer and more moist as compared to inhaled air. Let us look at the composition. Nitrogen 78% in both inhaled and exhaled air. Oxygen 21% in inhaled air and 16% in exhaled air. Carbon dioxide 0.03% in inhaled air and 4.5% in exhaled air. Water vapor it is variable in inhaled air and it is saturated in exhaled air. Temperature is variable for inhaled air 
and the temperature of the exhaled air is the same as the temperature of the human body. As we can see in the above table, nitrogen is of no use to the body. The body uses more oxygen and gives out more carbon dioxide and water vapour. Respiration The process of breathing in oxygen in order to burn food in the body and produce energy and breathing out carbon dioxide is called respiration. All plants and animals respire. Respiration is different from breathing. Breathing is an act performed for respiration to occur. Has anyone ever told you never to sleep under trees at night? Why do you think that is? This is because trees respire at night and during this process carbon dioxide is given out which is not good for our bodies. Two important processes take place in plants. Respiration and photosynthesis. In respiration oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. In photosynthesis Plants use energy from the sunlight to make food. They use carbon dioxide given out by us from the air and water and from the soil to make food. During this process, they give out oxygen. Let's prove it. Take a beaker and fill it with water. In it, place a hydrilla plant in an inverted funnel. Place a test tube over the funnel and put this setup in sunlight. What do you observe? Tiny bubbles begin to rise in the test tube. These are oxygen bubbles. This shows that plants during photosynthesis give out oxygen. Let us do a quick recap. Air contains many gases useful to man. It contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapour. Oxygen constitutes one-fifth of the air and is the active part. Whereas the remaining four-fifths is the inactive part of nitrogen, carbon dioxide and other gases. Oxygen is used up when fuels burn. All living things take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide during respiration. Inhaled air is rich in oxygen and exhaled air is rich in carbon dioxide. Plants give out oxygen during photosynthesis.